Hey, what's up guys? Well, I just wanted to talk about my dredge here a little bit. I had a question come in the other day that I thought was a pretty good question. Well, some of you guys are probably wondering how much it cost me to build my dredge. And I'll just come out and tell you, I spent around $3,000 putting my dredge together. And I already had some of the parts. If I didn't have some of the parts that I had, I probably would have ended up spending $4,000. And that's definitely a little bit steep for building your own dredge. Here was my situation. I was out in Northern California prospecting and I, the Idaho dredging season was coming up. I had about a month before the season was gonna start. And I knew if I wanted to have a dredge, I looked around a little bit to try to find a used one and I couldn't find one. I knew if I wanted to have a dredging season, I was gonna have to get going and build my own dredge. So that sparked me and I ordered the pontoon fishing raft for my flotation. Quite honestly, I would rather have the hard rubber pontoons that Keenan Proline sell. But as most of you guys probably already know, those things cost a pretty penny and they're not cheap. So I decided to go with the pontoon fishing boat for my flotation. I actually already had a dredge in the past that I had built on the same platform. So I knew that it would work. I ended up paying around $250 for the pontoon fishing boat, which isn't that bad. It's a little bit cheaper here in Illinois because in California they pop you with a shipping tax. Go and figure California would do something goofy like that. But all in all guys, I have $3,000 into my dredge. And like I said, I would probably have about four thousand dollars into it but i already had the pump and the air compressor off my four inch dredge my sluice my jet box and my flare i picked up at armadillo mining in oregon and i ended up paying about 550 dollars for the whole combination that was the jet the flare and the sluice box with the riffles and then my pontoon fishing boat obviously i ordered that from the roanoke the company that makes the boats is who I ordered it from. I would much rather have the hard rubber pontoons just because then I can slide my dredge down cliffs, I can slide it down the hills, I can pull it across the rocks, and I wouldn't have to worry about putting a hole in the pontoons like mine. However, there are pros and cons to whatever you do. For example, I'm a one guy dredging team, so when I go to haul all my equipment by the river, well with the system that I have now, and even hauling space in my van, I can let all the air out of the pontoons, I can fold them up, and I can save a lot of space. I can carry the pontoons in my hand folded up like this, and I can carry my framework in the other hand like this. So it's just a lot easier for me to move around my dredge than it would be if I had the hard rubber pontoons. But I would prefer to hard, have the hard rubber pontoons probably over the system like I have just because of the rock issues and sliding them down the hills and stuff like that. But like I said, there's there's pros and cons in everything you do. And for a one guy dredging team, it probably does work out a lot better like the way that I have it right now. Just because I can let the air out of the pontoons and I can carry all the framework to the dredging site a lot easier than if I could, than if it was a full scale big model dredge like Proline or Keen. Which leads me to my next point. One of the other reasons that I decided to build the dredge, uh, don't quote me on this because I don't know exact prices, but I don't think you're gonna find a five inch dredge for any cheaper than $6,500 from Proline or Keen. Maybe you can find one for 5,500 to six brand new, but uh, that's probably the cheapest that you're gonna find it. And uh, $3,000 is still better than spending five thousand to six thousand dollars. That's just my opinion. Now I'm not against buying a new dredge if you have the money, I by all means go and do it. But here's the thing guys, here's what I would really recommend before you even build your own dredge. And I'm not against building your own dredge because all the dredges that I have from here on out are probably going to be homemade built dredges. That's all I've ever had is home built dredges. I will say I do want to get a keen 4 inch mini dredge just because I like how small they are. And I think they would be a real good sampler and even an effective work tool. As far as... Uh, a bigger production dredge like a five inch or a six inch dredge i would really like to have a six inch dredge but i have a five and i'm not disappointed with it or anything like that i'm happy to have it but here's the thing guys if you really look out there dredges come for sale every once in a while and i know that you could find a used five inch or six inch dredge for at least three thousand thirty five hundred dollars probably cheaper than that if you find it on the right diet on the right day so if you're planning on building your own dredge, you really can save a lot of money if you're willing to do a lot of the mechanical work yourself or have the mechanical know-how. I mean, as far as fabricating your own parts and stuff, like you could fabricate your own sluice box. A sluice box is really just a channel of aluminum. You could build your own riffles to put in it. You know, you could put some diamond, some of that ex expanded metal in there. You could build your own jet flare. I watched a guy last year build one out of a stove pipe and his dredge worked just fine. You could build your own power jet even though that's probably a little bit more technical. It's not really, I don't think it's that hard, but you have to have the parts and stuff. And a lot of times, a lot of times you can find the used parts for the same amount of money that you could go out and buy the parts to build your own parts. 
So if you can find the right parts at the right price, you can definitely build your own dredge a lot cheaper. I mean, Keen, Keen and Proline are selling five inch dredges for 5,500 to anywhere from $7,000, I think. So that's pretty expensive for a dredge. You know, I'm not discouraging you buying a new one, but you could probably build two dredges for the price that you can buy one dredge. However, that's only saying if you find the right parts because if you buy brand new parts and you're building your own home built dredge and you go out and buy brand new parts and i'm even talking about buying new pumps and everything like that you're probably going to end up spending just about as much money when you're said and done and you could have just went ahead and found a used dredge that was already built and put together that's about what it comes out to guys like my example i spent three thousand dollars on my dredge i know for a fact on a good day you can probably buy a five inch or six inch dredge for that amount of money but like I said, I was in a situation where I had about a month to put my equipment together. So I decided to go ahead and get my build started. And I knew if I didn't take action, I probably wasn't going to have a dredging season last year. That's the reason that I built my dredge. But uh, if I had to do it all over again, I'm not, I don't dislike my dredge or anything like that. But if I had to do it all over again and I had a little bit more time to wait and I had a little bit more funds because I built this on a credit card, which I'm not too proud of. I really didn't have the money to go out and buy the dredge right away. I wanted to have a dredging season so bad that I charged it on my credit card, which don't do that, guys. Credit cards are stupid. Getting in debt is stupid. Don't do what I did. I tell everybody that. But this was a situation where I didn't give a shit. I really wanted to go dredging last year. I was in California prospecting uh, with a hand sluice box and mining with a hand sluice box. And I said, you know what? I'm going to Idaho this summer, and I'm going to have a dredging season. And that's when I got my credit cards out. And I started charging stuff and I started building my dredge and I have about three thousand dollars into my dredge right now like I said I already had some of the parts if I didn't already have a pump and air compressor it would have cost me a lot more that was one of the reasons why I went ahead and built my dredge I maybe should have put together a four inch dredge last year but hey guys I have a five inch dredge right now and that's all I have because if I put a four inch dredge together last year I could have done it with a lot less money that's just the way I went guys that's what I have right now so guys um, I recommend before you build your own dredge, you try to find one that's used and already put together at a good price. But if you are going to build your own dredge, you can definitely do it for a lot cheaper than what you can buy a brand new Keen or Proline dredge for. However, you're going to have to figure out your flotation, whether you want to use a pontoon fishing boat or raft or not. You'll have to decide if the pros outweigh the cons or whatever it is in your situation. In my situation, I decided to go with the pontoon fishing boat just because of the affordability. And really, I do like that system set up just because I can let the air out of the pontoons and I can carry all my framework down to the river or, or the creek or wherever I'm dredging at. I can get all my equipment there as a one-man team a lot easier than I could a big hard rubber pontoon dredge. So my dredge is a little bit easier to move around in that regard. However, like the hard rubber pontoons, you can just slide down the hills, you can slide down the ditches, you can pull it across the rocks. So durability is a little bit better, flotation is a little bit better. Mine floats just fine, but flotation on the hard rubber pontoons is better. I will say that. They can haul more weight around. So there's pros and cons to whatever you do, guys. I have about $3,000 in my dredge build. I already had some of the parts. My conclusion is try to find a used dredge that's already put together for your money. I think that's going to be the best thing for your buck. I'm definitely not against building dredges. Most of the dredges that I have here on out in my dredging career are probably going to be home-built dredges. I would love to get to Nome, Alaska and dredge up there, and that's probably going to be a home-built dredge too. I don't know when I'm going to get up there and do that, guys, but I really would love to get up there and do that. I talked about that um, in one of my other videos today too. Yeah, guys. That's all I got. I hope this helps you decide whether you want to build a dredge, buy a used one, or maybe buy a new one. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the videos and want to follow the journey, go ahead and smash that sub button, and we'll holler at you in the next one.